Hello everybody, welcome to the Davis and Jowett special Christmas edition podcast. Um, this edition is family friendly. We're going to oh, do our yes. utmost not to say any of those naughty words. So you can play it in the front room with your family and friends and there'll be no embarrassing expletives or we'll do our very best. Um, we're now available on Spotify, I'm happy to say. Yeah. Um, thank you to everybody who has been listening. Um, please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes. Follow us on Twitter. We've got loads of good stuff coming up. Yeah, man. Without further ado, let's crack on, shall we? Kick it in. Kick it in there. We're off. And now we're just carrying on. Carrying then, on over, it, over the music. Oh, oh, feeling it. Carrying yeah. it in there. Yeah, feeling it. Feeling, feeling it. it. Feeling it. Let it snow. It says that on your jumper. Yeah, got my Christmas jumper on. You have. Sipping a nice bit of mulled wine. Cheers, man. Oh, sitting by the fire. Merry poke, poke, poke. Ooh, poke the fire. Merry Keep Christmas. Keep it going. Ooh, what's that? It's my hand. Don't touch it. How's it going, man? I'm all right, mate. Do you like Christmas? I do. I'm excited. Um, I don't it's a merry, merry, merry time of the year, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's that's nice mulled wine, that, mate. Is it all right? It's extra hot now, that. Yeah. Well, I did the thing of just buying the supermarket stuff, and I pepped it you up did. a bit with um, some, some, orange. S- some orange. Yeah. Star anise. Star anise. I the, saw that. Yeah, yeah. Any cinnamon in there? And the cinnamon sticks. The sticks, not the... No, 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 not the powder. Proper cinnamon sticks. Proper stuff, yeah. And um, I, th- I put it all together and I threw the last cinnamon stick in there and as I threw it in, I, I just shouted, Bishop, Bishop, like that. What's the relevance of Bishop, I don't know, I just, sh- I, I just shouted it. You did it? Yeah, and yeah. And just a sort of witticism. It, well, yeah, I may, I've really made myself laugh. <laughs> And, and, and you thought I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Hans about and, that, and I told Rich about it as well. Did you? Yeah, because Rich thought Mannigan. Oh. No, Richard Stott. Richard Stott. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, our good friend Richard and Stott. So I just threw Ooh. it in. I threw it in. I just went Bishop, Bishop. He, he's born really close to Christmas, like I am. Richard yeah. Stott, isn't he? So your birthday is well, two days ago. Two days ago, because this is Christmas Eve. This is or oh, one day ago then, because this is Christmas, Christmas Eve. This is Christmas Eve. So I'm getting really the timelines uh, messing me up, mate. It's like yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. So it's your birthday. So what's that like? Do you get all your... No, you won't get all your presents on your birthday because that would be rubbish. No. I get... uh, Well, when I was a kid, it was mixed. People used to forget all the time. Because it's that close. Yeah, people used to come to Christmas and go, here's a joint one. Because they'd forgotten about my birthday. I I remembered. (laughs) I remembered. I've got a list. Yeah, I would do. Yeah, I've got a list of their names. So they would... what? They've been ostracised from the family. I never talk to them. Good. I don't blame you. I don't blame myself either, mate. At all. What, what do you do on Christmas Eve? What's Christ- your tradition? Do you have a tradition? Well, when I was when I was younger, we used to go out. Yeah. Not like not young, not like eight years old. Seven or eight. Like I mean, like go and have a pint of Guinness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, nice pint of iron. Drift off to sleep. <laughs> and wait fi- for the old man in red tights to come around and see me. Have a pint of Guinness and a fisherman's friend. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> Oh no, it's Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. But I the kids won't know what that means. Swarm, just they a won't bit of light that means. innuendo. That a, it was a bit abstract. Light like. innuendo, yeah. a little bit abstract. That's fine. I think Christmas is made for light innuendos, uh-huh. isn't it? Wait until the wine's flowing later on. Well, some of you might have had your books fizz out already. I, eh? And you'd be quite right. <laughs> so, do you go out still? No, I don't actually. Um, everyone's got kids now. Including yourself. I've got a kid, yeah. Um, and my other mate's got a kid and some of them are married. And we try to meet up a good sort of two weeks before Christmas mm. to sort of say the uh, the old jollies, you know? Say the old jollies. Whatever Is that, that a means. Thing? I don't think so. Just made it up now. Say, uh, just say Merry Christmas. Salutations. Salutations, yeah. yeah. You could call that a jolly. A jolly means holiday, doesn't it, really? Does it? If we're going slang. Eh? If the slang Urban police are coming round. Yeah, yeah. Your bruv! Yeah. <laughs> Your bruv, it's called, a, it's called a holiday, mate. Yes, mate. 
But yeah, um, that's what we do. What do you do? Christmas Eve. Um, what have I done the past few? I'm, they've been quite sensible the past few. Um, I would always like to get drunk. On Christmas Eve? Yeah. I see, I really... Or, oh. Actually, no, no. I hated waking up there. It's mo- That's morning, very true, actually. The last... Hungover. I tell a lie. The last few Christmases, I've woken up pretty fresh-headed, mm. and I've managed to enjoy it, and I end up getting drunk on Christmas Day. Last couple of years, I went for a curry with my dad. Yeah, on Christmas da- Day. On Christmas Day, on my dad's side of the I family. Remember last year, you had a Christmas curry. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't as good the second year. The first year that we went, three the, years ago, three it, years was ago. The, it was... The novelty was fresh, and it was packed out. Second year was it was okay. I think, yeah, it's like that second album syndrome, isn't it? <sighs> you can't because that fit out. That was a really good Christmas. Never try to recreate. That's the thing, isn't it? But we do that every year, though, don't we? Try and every Christmas get back is like that. routine, isn't it? It's, it's ups and downs, habit. isn't it? It's ups and downs. I've got to be honest, mate. I'm not a big fan of Christmas. Oh. Um, no, no, no. And that's not... <laughs> see, oh. Mate, don't cut your jumper up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he's tipping, oh, he's tipping wine on his oh. jumper. No. That's, that's all right. No, I am... Um, it's just a bit stressful. It can be, yeah. Do you know, cause there's a lot of pressure put on Christmas. To have a good time. To have a good time. And the truth of it is, Christmas is just a bit boring. Oh, well. You wake up early. Christmas right. Day we're talking about. Or just Christmas generally. Christmas Day. Yeah. Generally. Uh, I didn't see Betsy last year on Christmas. So, didn't have the joy of waking up and having all the Christmas, you know, unwrapping the presents. Yeah. The next day on Boxing Day. Yeah. But, I remember as a kid, well maybe like teenage or whatever you'd unwrap your presents and then there's that void there's that gaping you Got know a yawning chasm a yawning chasm between like 8am and dinner I was gonna say gusset gusset yeah it's not a nice word it's not a nice word it's not on Christmas Eve. appropriate though for what you're saying it is but there's that gap isn't there of like well what do we do now mm. and what do you do well tidy up People often make the mistake of eating too much too early, I find. Yeah. Well, what's your Christmas breakfast um I don't know if I have tradition. one. Tradition. I don't know if I have a... My dad usually has uh, salmon and scrambled eggs. That's like his... That's quite a traditional. Yeah. Is that traditional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. it was just my dad that did that. I had an XX, X girlfriend yeah. whose family used to have smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. And but I used to think they were a bit posh because we had bacon butties, mate. Yeah, my dad's not that posh. Maybe one day of the year he might be a bit posh. Well, you're allowed to be on Christmas, aren't you? It's where everyone's equal, yeah. but not. Because cause some people Cause are of, still... Because some people are Brexit. out there, Adam. And they haven't got the universal credit. No. So they can't, they can't buy let's, the present. Uh, let's take a moment to talk about Brexit. Um, oh, hi. Here we go. <laughs> no, please, don't, don't do that. Um, I don't know much about it anymore, to be honest. No, I was being, I was being silly. That'd be a silly thing to do. You think Theresa May will be having a good Christmas? Oh, I was only joking. <laughs> Talk about Theresa May. But seriously, on we, Christmas Day, Christmas morning, bacon butties straight from the butchers, really thick cut pieces of bacon. Mm, Bang yeah. them on a bap. But then aren't, aren't you full for you uh, your Christmas dinner? No, ads. I'm not. There's a gap there. I've told you. There's a gap. There's a real digesting gap there. I'm not a fan of Christmas dinner. I'll put it out there. I sound like a broken record, but it's just We're not... off out this year. Oh, yeah. Where are you yeah. going? Where are you off to? I'm off to the pub. Good for you. We're off for a carvery. Oh, right. I see. You're, eat- you're eating out. We're eating out, man. Real, man. Mum's, you know, she's. I'm not cooking. She's Good already regretting it. She's already regretting it. Regretting not cooking? Yeah. Why? I think she likes it. She likes everything. But the thing is, the family's growing, you see. Family's growing. It's getting. Mm. There's more and more people coming down now. There's more mouths to feed. Yeah. Uh, it's only a tiny house. It does get mental. Yeah. It does get mental. Did you think before Betsy was it a conscious thing of you know when you get older, is it your do you envisage having a big family sat around or a family to call your own? Because I often think about it. Because yeah. I'm not big on the whole idea of kids and stuff. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. The one thing that I think is you know. What if I get really, really old and there's and there's just nothing? And there's no one. 
What, there's no one there? There's no one. I'll always be there, mate. Yeah, you'll have your own stuff and you'll go, you come round to ours for Christmas. I hope, this is, I mean, this is, what you this is in a universe you... where for some reason me and Erin aren't together. I'm thinking like the worst case scenario. Yeah, Erin would be booting you out, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've done oh, a swear! I've done a swear. We'll bleep it out. We bleeped it <laughs> out. We bleeped it out. But no, yeah. the um, yeah. Get out the house, you boring old fart. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what you're invited around to mine, mate. Yeah, but it won't. It won't be. I'll, I'll be like, oh, he's he's just being polite, and then I'll just end up staying in on my own. Do I need to have some kids? Is that what I need to do? I think um, no. Is the answer? What am I going to do? There's plenty of people out there, mate, who uh, who don't have kids and have a really good Christmas. Do they? Yeah. What do they? What do they do though? I don't know. Um, I've never heard of them. I mean, I would have kids if, and then just save for, Christmas. Them for Christmas. Kids are for a lifetime, not just for Christmas, Adam. Oh, All right. Well, it's just dogs, though. I I have always have though. I'm, I'm quite family orientated. Mm. I do like family. I do like gathering around. I do I like do. doing all the tradition. I like. I love kids. I, I don't know if I... Uh, I like them in small doses. Or yeah. I couldn't eat a whole one. Um, hey, keep them coming. Sorry. These are These are like Christmas cracker we've, jokes. We've got... Mate. We've got, By the way, folks, We're better stay, than this. stay tuned. <laughs> because we've got the <laughs> Christmas quiz to yes. end all Christmas quizzes. Well, you needed to, to entice honest. them after that joke. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, mate. Go uh, got a surprise for you. What is it? What's that Christmas tree there? Just reach under the Christmas tree. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, just reach what's, under What that... do you mean, what's that Christmas tree there? It's been there the whole time. Oh, that's... yeah, it has, yeah. Just reach underneath the Christmas oh, tree. Oh, I knew you'd do this. What's that shiny thing oh, there? for God's sake. And I haven't got you anything. I know. Oh, what do you mean you haven't got me anything? I haven't got you anything. It's Christmas Eve. I know, and I've forgotten. I've gone and forgotten, haven't I? This is, this is why you shouldn't have kids. I know. I can't believe this. Selfish Simon. No, you might as well go and open it now, aren't you? Why have you done that You've ruined to it. embarrass me? How dare you <laughs> come to my house on Christmas Eve of all the days of the year to make me feel bad and you do this? I mean, I'll open it and I'll keep it, Ads, but this is really taking a turn for the worse. The spirit of Christmas. Uh, well, we've got time yet. It's still Christmas Eve and we've got time. Right, yeah. I'm opening the gift. It is a blue box, a small box. It feels quite light. It's very well gift wrapped. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it is the Bamboozler's Range. Oh, it's it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle box, a box of two puzzles. You like your puzzles? Puzzles made from bamboo. The Bamboozler's Range. A. Very good a. word play. Yeah, sustainable. Um, that is ace. Do you like it? I'll tell you what I enjoyed last year was that Rubik's Cube that I got from That's Erin's brother. That's why I got you it. it. And it wasn't the Rubik's Cube, it was the, the other Rubik's one. Cube on acid. <laughs> if you can imagine such the a thing. The blue and white one. The one that's just all over the... It's like a, The one that I figured out in like it's not 10 a, minutes. Yeah, it's not a square. It's yeah. like a jagged thing. <laughs> it's, it's like a big star, isn't and it? You came in. It took me two days to complete and you came in. and five minutes, you'd done it. Yeah. <laughs> the Rubik's Cube, I've still not... But that'll keep out. you up, mate. Um, Do you know yeah. that period between breakfast and dinner we were talking about? Mate, fill it. Yeah, I will saying. fill that. Fill it. So these are like wooden things that are connected together. It looks, it like looks a, very a um, four-dimensional, like mahong. It looks thing. very precarious. Yeah. So if if I was to remove, if I was to it. remove this, it would all it, it would break. <laughs> I think it would come apart. It's a bit flimsy. Um, and then you've got to. The, so I would the, take a picture of it before you pull it apart. Yes, the task is to then put it. Uh, to its original form. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. I'm not going to do that now because it will just break and go everywhere. And then the second one. See, that looks quite easy. It looks easy, doesn't it? I uh, but I've no idea how it's how it is put together. It looks like four pieces of wooden like bars. It's like an X, like a, a like an X. Yeah, yeah. Every way you look at it, it's an, have you broken it's, it? No, 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 no. All right. I don't. Uh, that. Is a puzzle just trying to take it apart? <laughs> ads. 
<laughs> anyway, I got. If you look under the tree again, yeah, yeah, you've missed. You've missed something else. What have I missed? Let's you've missed a. Uh, Let's go over to the tree. Go over to you the tree. Me another one. It's, Ads, it's Ads, you're making me very angry. <laughs> This is, this is, this is for... No, 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 no! <laughs> this is for the podcast. Okay. This is an idea for the podcast. Oh, I'm, right, okay. So it's a small, it's like a packet of cards. It's a kind, box. I think it does contain cards, yes. Ah, uh, the movie quiz. The movie quiz. Excellent stuff. A hundred questions for the wannabe movie buff. Can you open it? I can open it. What's it's the not first, as difficult as the, the uh, first question? puzzles. <laughs> Let's see if we can get into this on Christmas. What's the first one? Ads? I can't get into it, Ads. <laughs> you panicking? No, I'm not panicking. I'm not, I don't panic. They're tightly packed. I can't get into it. You've got your jumper um, on as well. You've you got my jumper sweating. on. You're making me sweat, getting me presents. <laughs> Not even giving me a heads up. Ads, I've got you some. Get get some in for the pod. You made me look like a right fool. Right. Here we go. Movie thank quiz. thank you for that, man. Thank just you. Just odd times through the podcast, you could just pull out a card. I'll just whap into and it. And ask a question. Or I could. We could randomly do it. All right. Here we go, then. Um... Oh, these are quite good. Uh, in the Star Wars film series, what is the Emperor's last name? Palpatine. Very good. Yes. In what year was the first film in the James Bond series released? 1958. No. 60. It's... Keep going. Two. Yes. Yes. What was the last film in which Marilyn Monroe starred? Seven Year Itch. No. No. The Misfits. <laughs> Uh, who directed the film Psycho? That's an easy one. Alfred Hitchmike. Um, who directed 2001 A Space Odyssey? Stanley Kaufrick. These are easy. What was the name of the lion in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? Lion. Aslan. <laughs> what film is set on the starship Nostromo? Star Trek. No. Oh. Oh, it's Star Wars. No. What? <laughs> What I'll give you it? a clue. Get away from her, you beep. Galaxy Quest. Oh, it's Alien. That quote was from Aliens, though, wasn't it? Oh, get it's away cigar. from me, you yeah, B.I. Is. Yeah, that's why Naughty I was confused. Is the plural. It's the impression that did yeah, it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. You should have shaved your head. Um, Not that she had a shaved head. Which actor played Hannibal Lecter in The Sands of the Lambs? Anthony Hopkins. These we'll leave good. it there. Very, Very good. good. Very good. You smashed your way through them. Yes, mate. Yes. Great. There you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I'll um, I'll get you something. And if for you just Christmas have a look Day. under the <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I have got you and her in a car. I've got. I haven't had time to do anything. <laughs> I've been trying to make the mould wine. I got, it's just a card. I haven't had time. It's just a card. It's just a card. You don't have to open it now. All right. Don't open it now. No, I'll open it for Is the it? listeners. Show them what a good Samaritan you are. It's, uh... Oh, I've got, I've remembered everything. It's not a trick. It's not I've a trick. remembered everything this year. Have your selfie a very merry little Christmas. And it's Father Christmas with a selfie stick with yeah. Rudolph. Yeah. Thanks, man. And thanks to Martha. From Adam, yes, and from Adam and Martha. Very good. Lovely stuff. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. Um, I've got some... Uh, Come on. I'll tell you what I've done what this have year. You, what have you done? So Netflix have taken all their good Christmas films off. Yeah, because they're owned by... The big wigs, the big wigs, and the, it's competition. And it's he, they're going, it's up. they're going. You're not allowed them. Yeah, these are ours. Have you heard about Disney buying Fox? What for Fox? The last two days, <laughs> the Fox, fantastic, Mr. From Fox, Fox and the Hound, <laughs> the Fox, the company, 21st Century Fox, and all their little miniature companies bought it all, mate. Disney are running the world. Ooh. They've got everything now, mate. Heavy duty. Where are you off? Uh, I'll see you later, mate. I'm just going to. Uh, <laughs> Answers walked out I'm the just door. All oh, right, me. okay. He's uh, he's left the room. He's uh, he's uh, looking through the cabinet. He's making a bit of a racket. Saying stuff about me. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying about me? Saying you left the room and you're looking through a cabinet. Yeah. Um. 
Keep that door open. Keep it open? Yeah. No, no, shut it now. It's just it was making noises on the... Ooh. Do you know the microphones don't like doors shutting? Um, is it a vacuum? So I'm very... Uh, I'm, yeah, it's I think it vacuum. is. I'm very sorry, audience members. Oh, sorry. Did that make little, a bit of a... Those three little, little bang. Pops. I've got... Lo I've, I've picked a load up. So they're just proper classic... 90s Christmas films. Adam is sat with about 20 DVDs at his feet. I'm trying to buy back my childhood. Are these what? Are these they're all not, Christmas films? They're not necessarily Christmas films. So but they're all set at Christmas. Um, Begs the question, what is the best Christmas movie, Adam? Well, Die Hard was recently voted, officially, it's not a Christmas film. But it it, it is essential, isn't it, that it's set at Christmas? Um, yeah. The production designer didn't seen... just guess it was at Christmas. No. I've you not seen really... this either. You've not seen Die Hard? I've not seen Die <laughs> right. Hard. Do you know when everyone says, like, <laughs> you've not seen that? Die yeah. Hard is... Is not okay that I've not seen that, A is definite it? film you should watch. Well, I plan to. Well, this this very this good. Is, this is what's happening. The Nakatomi Plaza will welcome you. Uh, Gremlins 1 and 2... Very good. Uh, yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's just a good film. <laughs> um, Nightmare. I watched that the other day. Did you? Yeah, with Betsy. I've not seen she that. She loved the bit with the rain. Oh, the, the hose pipe. Uh, in the mud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, she likes that, that bit. In the um, 80s, that was it? Or no, early 90s? No, it's got to be 90s. Um, Do you know, I was a good story. I was in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Went to America. Uh, right. With just a backpack. <laughs> just a couple of bucks to my name. I don't know if, uh, but you got, yeah. Go I on. went. I went on a tour of the studio, right? And we went and sat in as a, st a studio audience watching how they made the B scene. Do you know with the big B? We're on the B. Oh yeah, there's yeah, two yeah. kids, right? It's got honey, uh, nectar all over the B, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. They're covered in it, right? Yeah. As I'm going in, woman says to me, "Would you like to be in the film?" What, mate? Would you like to be in the film? Yeah, not this, not the film, film, but the, for the studio audience, the recreation, right? Oh. I've got footage of me and another kid on the B, green screen, audience going mental. Blow me, neck. me flying around the back garden. That exact what scene. They, what do they use? That's for the tour specifically. Yeah, and I you're think on it. It's gone now. They've still got the adventure playground. Honey, I shrunk the kids' adventure playground where you can yeah, go down yeah, like yeah. leaf. For, you know slides down the leaves and nice. stuff like that yeah yeah but they recreated it for the studio audience and I've got it on tape I was on that B mate what a day yeah mate what that's where it day. started that's where it all that's where I got the bug no pun intended Nightmare Before Christmas definitely one uh, of the highest grossing uh, Christmas movies of all time is it yes is it uh, cool Runnings. That's not really a Christmas but it's got a lot film, of snow. but it's got snow. It's got a lot of snow. Uh, the Goonies. These are, I've just picked up loads of stuff here. Oh, yeah, that's a personal. Have you seen the Storyteller, Jim Henson? With J yes, with John Hurt. Yeah. Yes, I've seen a few. The Dark Crystal. I've seen Dark Crystal. Yeah. I've seen Labyrinth. The Storyteller is the TV Jim Henson series. Is, is it? the TV series, yes. and it is the. That's when it's Christmas for me. That. When that goes on, yeah. That's when it becomes Christmas. When yeah. people told themselves their past with stories, explained their present with stories, foretold the future with stories, the best place by the fire was kept for the storyteller. Yes. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Amazing. Dickie Attenborough got a great story about Dickie Attenborough someone told me uh, how they uh, my technical guy on the last show I did uh, told me how he walked in on uh, Dickie Attenborough having a wee so oh right oh, he's human something else then but no 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 it's, well keep it keep it light keep it light keep it light um, planes trains and automobiles you can see that from here I saw John Candy mate yes. Steve Martin well you think what you want about me I'm not changing I like I like me my wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Yes. Could only be that movie, couldn't it? Um, Dudley Moore, The Santa Claus. I've not seen that one. Terrible movie. Is it? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to spice it I'm up. I'm just trying to, yeah. And uh, everything's been really good so far. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Again, Ducks. Again, it's not lots really... of snow. It's not really a Christmas film. Yes, but, but Emilio Estevez has never been better. Never um, been better than in that movie. No, not since then. Not since then. Or been downhill. Or yeah, yeah. I yeah. hope he's all right. Definitely. Well, that that sound that they sound really good, mate. Yeah. You could have quite. You could fill that time between breakfast and dinner quite easily quite comfortably some of those yeah a choice what is the best Christmas movie of all time well for, for you. me what is the one movie you can't you can't c- not watch it's got to be Home Alone hasn't it really yeah it's got to be Home Alone's a very good one I mean um, that's that's my childhood right there that's right my there, childhood yeah. he started it he ate my pizza on purpose he knows I ate sausage and olives and look what you and... did you little jerk yeah. don't go dissing my childhood <laughs> yeah Chris, leave yeah. it leave it out but Home Alone 1 or 2 both back to back back to back yeah yeah, yeah. that's cheating though isn't it so well movie. yeah for me if I had to choose the first one every year it's a wonderful life. Mm, yeah. Can't not watch. And it's been a tradition for the last, I don't know how long. Yeah. In our house. It's just a bloody good movie. Mm. It's all about, you know. It is good. It accept, is good. Accept, you know, accepting people for who they are, it's, being nice. It's got all the sentiment that you want from a Christmas It's film. about leniency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about good cheer. That's right. That's right. Good. And it's about time travel. Um, it is about. It's a. It's a sci-fi dressed up as a Christmas film. Let's uh, be honest. It's ahead of its time. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any New Year's resolutions? I don't. I don't do them. Why? Because I never I, keep them. I don't either. I don't. I don't do them. I just sort of ask. I always promise myself to be a better person than I was the year before. Yeah. Try and be. I'm, I'm, I just try to be honest. Try to be honest. I try to call Christmas pudding. You said Christmas it again. Pudding. You've done two swears oh, now. I just did it. They did it twice in one, there. Did you? I said that word twice. That's two more bleeps. Sorry. Uh, God. I have to make note of this Thank time. You, Twenty-five kids. minutes. Right, okay. Oh, mate. Okay. <laughs> People are asking, what does what does beep mean? <laughs> it just it said he it means it said something funny. He's a bull, naughty, naughty bull. <laughs> He's a naughty bull. Naughty, naughty bull. New Year's resolutions for you? For me, I am the same as you. I think if I'm going to do something, just do it. Okay. Just blooming well do it. Don't wait for New Year. Right, I'll tell you what. We're going to do the first round. Of the true or false Christmas cracker quiz. Christmas cracker crazy Christmas questions. Cracker questions. (laughs) Quiz. (laughs) Here it is. Okay. Hold on to your Santa hats. So what is this? What's the what's the structure? Oh, is it? Um, am I doing the? I'm gonna read you. You got a true got... or false question, and if you get it right, we have here, ladies and gentlemen, live on air, genuine Christmas c- crackers. Oh, 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 right. Yeah, and yeah. If you get it right, you get to pull a cracker. If you get it wrong, with, with you. Yes. Okay. You, well, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. I don't know why I said that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> carry on. <laughs> And if you get it wrong, you don't get to pull a cracker. Okay? All right. First true or false question yeah. is... Feel free to play it along at home. Okay. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer yeah. was, in fact, a metaphor for racism. Go. True or false? I think if you have written that question, you would like to think that, yes, that is, in fact, true. And I would agree with you. It is, in fact, false. Oh, it is false. Well, agree to disagree on that one, if I'm honest. Well, it's about bullying. 
because he's different and he's <laughs> the color of his a part of his face is, and his body is different. Yeah. Semantics. So, I'll give you that one. All right. Christmas semantics. Let's pull the cracker. Oh, yes. you won. You won. Well done. Well done, Adam. Sorry about the loud noise. Everyone. Sorry. <laughs> we'll pull that down in post. Was it that was that very loud? I think so. It spiked. Um and I have, what have you won? a flowery pencil sharpener, yeah, a Christmas amazing. hat. Christmas and hat. I'm going to put that on now. Amazing. Um, but here we go. Here's a. Shall we do a follow up question? Because I've got some uh, yeah. Christmas jokes. So if you can guess the punchline to this Christmas cracker joke, yeah, you win. Okay. At, at this this bit. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got me a present. You haven't got me a card. And you haven't even got me any prizes. Yeah, the pre- I've got Christmas crackers and everything. I've, I've got you a nice pencil sharpener. <laughs> Um, all right, so what? Uh, I'm trying to find one that you could get. Okay, I've got a list. Oh, of them. all right, give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all like really, really hard? They're all really bad, but you could feasibly get all right, them. Well, I'm no. up for the challenge. All right, okay. What do you call a line of men oh. waiting for a haircut? Ooh, a barber shop line. The first part was right. Barber. What are they doing? Barber line. What's Barbecue. Yes. Yes. Very well done to you, sir. I knew that sir. one. That was on the tip of my tongue, that one. That's one Thank to you. ads. One to me. Okay. And one to me. And one to you. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. right. Moving on. Do you know it's very prevalent at this time of the year? Oh, we just take it. We back. We backseat in now. We're backseat. We'll come back to him, mate. We'll come back to him. We'll, we'll do it throughout. All Keep right. people on the yeah. edge, edge of their it's seats. Don't want to show them everything, right? No, right. no, no, All no. One go. Exactly. Um, panto season, mate. Yeah, I want to bring it up because we never really talk about it. We're actors. Yeah, I've true. never done a panto. Have you? I have not. No. Never. Mm, no. Would you do a panto? I don't think I would um, because I have um, standards. Oh, joking! I'm joking. Uh, I have real. Um, Real issues with pantos. No, I have real respect for um, for anybody that does a panto. Which bit is serious? Is this this is the serious bit? I know it's hard. Okay, I know it seems very glib, but uh, yeah, genuine respect for people that do pantos because yeah. I, I don't think I could. It's too much, man. It's what three? It's the workload. Some... Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about the content. I'm talking about the workload. Two shows a day, usually. Yeah, I think so. My mate's doing twelve shows a week. In the minute in Blackpool. Oh, God. 12 shows a week. That's Can your, you imagine? That's your Christmas as well. Done. I mean, and it's not. Is it I, good money? Is it good Is it good for that amount of shows? I mean, it's all relative, isn't it? If if you don't enjoy it, then uh, then no, it's not good money, is it? Laughter is payment enough. It should be. And they should get it in abundance. I, um. Yeah, I've been offered a few things and turned them down. For I think maybe it's the fact that it's I've done family shows before I did One Little Word with M6 there so that was good I really enjoyed that yeah so I don't have anything against family shows but I want to I want to pantos can be a bit lewd though can't they it's the, you know it's I mean? the acting it's the this is going to sound really snobby but it's just it's it's the truth like setting you off because right? I'm, I'm getting uh, I'm going to get on my soapbox <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, no. It's, serious. Uh, I like to do stuff I can get my teeth into. Yeah. And those kind of shows, it's 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 fun. Yeah. There's obviously a lot of discipline and a lot of rigor and hard work. Not taking any of that away from it, but it's just not for me. No. Um, it's just not for me. Not I for enjoy me. watching them. I've seen a good few Christmas shows. I haven't seen a panto for a long not, time. You know. Um, Actually, I did see Aladdin at the Stockport Plaza, which was really, Who's really in that? good. No, um, oh, no one I can remember. Um, but that was good fun. I saw our I mate like, Harry Dyer at the Leicester Square Theatre. Oh, that was quite downstairs. soon after we left drama school, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah, it was. He yeah. did. Uh, he played Buttons, I think, if I remember rightly. But it was very, it was yeah. very raunchy. 
Oh, was it? Yeah, there's a lot of snowballs and tinsel flying around. Oh, you said, what are you doing that? Saying that for <laughs> again? <laughs> to put there's right down of, the time code so of, you can bleep it out. A lot of holly. It's your idea. There's not, a lot of holly. <laughs> there's a lot of holly flying around. <laughs> just from in post production, <laughs> just say uh, <laughs> mistletoe. <laughs> Wrapping paper. <laughs> we'll record at the end a few different versions yeah. of different Christmas words that you can just plop in <laughs> over the top of them. A lovely Christmas pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just said a few. Everyone will think you're swearing now. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. See, why did you swear then? I'm not swearing. So... There were also it was quite um, it was a bit raunchy. A bit, so that's not really uh, child friendly, then, is it? That no, was more of an adult one. I think pantos traditionally are not really supposed to be that child friendly. Oh right, if you go back, I thought into they the were time of your <laughs> time of my what? Oh, well, it's uh, Y O R E. <laughs> y O R E what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You said it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. We well, should we mention at this time that there is a hotline that people can call us mm. on if they... If yeah, they, if, if you want to ring in, obviously Christmas is a time of bringing people together, about yeah. connecting. Don't be alone. Don't feel <laughs> you have to uh, sit there and uh, that you can't talk to anybody. Yeah. We're here, guys, for you to phone us. Just have a chat if there's anything you want to get off your chest. If you mm-hmm. want to uh, put yeah. a word into Santa Claus... We can do that. Um, I've good got connections. Friends. My agent is very good friends with him. Yeah. So uh, please phone us on uh, all the ones seven nine seven eighty eight. Is that eighty and then eight or eighty eight? Eighty eight. Yeah. <laughs> I had that with I had that once with someone when I was explaining the code for the door. I yeah. was saying to them. It's um, <laughs> ten eighty eight, mate. And he go ten eighty eight zero eight. Yeah, and we go. It's not working. Well, what have you put in? Eight, what ten eighty eight? Yeah, that's what it is. Ten eighty eight. No, I'm putting this ten eighty eight. Yeah, it's not working. Why are you putting right. in pause in there? <laughs> Genuinely, it was yeah. one of the funniest things. <clears throat> uh, what I did, uh, they're not necessarily Christmas shows that I've seen, but uh, my mum sort of has tried to make it a tradition to go and see a, a show at Christmas. Mm. Um, I watched uh, Oliver Twist at the Palace Theatre, that was amazing. Yeah. Um, Lion King, that was really good. Christmas show Lion King? Yeah, yeah. Did they wear tinsel? <clears throat> no, it it's wasn't. Like I said, it wasn't a Christmas it show, it was just on at Christmas. Um, yeah, they so do that a lot, don't they? Yeah, I think that's cheating. And I cheating. thought I would hate it. The Lion King. I, I thought I am embarrassed if I'm honest that I'm going to see this. <laughs> um, it's and great, when, isn't and it? when the first minute, I was like, I was choking up, man. This is the London tour. Yeah, come out to with the all regionals. the with all, all all the trimmings, all the people on working on stilts and just all the cleverness. Unbelievable! All and that opening of numbers, numbers, Circle of Life, I was oh. sat there with my arms crossed, and then as soon as I saw the giraffes coming down the <gasps> aisles, it was just like, oh, it's so magical, they're real. Um, my mum and dad hated that. Really? Why? Yeah, I don't know why. Philistines. Don't know why. I loved it. Yeah? I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. it when I went down for college. Hmm? Um, when I went down with college. Yeah, yeah. When I was 16. Bloody good. Blooming, blooming well. I can't believe they stampede as well. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that Sla- good? That is very good. Uh, Slava Snow Show. Oh, that's a good Christmas show. That is one of the best Christmas that's shows. That's out every I've year, seen. that, isn't it? I'd love to watch that again. Yeah, it does get moments in that. I was, all getting, the time. I was getting choked up. Oh, mate, yeah. yeah. That it's bit at the end with the. Well. Um, with the snow machine. And the, the playing with that the ball. Classical music. Oh, yeah. The dun 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 dun. The Valkyrie. Dun 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 dun. Something like that. Something like that. Like Beethoven's like, symphony, one of them. Blown away. Wow. Yeah. Slava Snow Show, check it out. Yeah, do go check it I out. Saw an, I saw an advert for that. We must have watched that years ago. It's, it's been on for on. years, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, give me another. All oh, right, okay, I'm going to give you another question and then I'm going to nip to the toilet. 
because this white uh, wine's gone right through. All right, are you gonna? Are you gonna? All right, yeah. I'm gonna nip Great. to the toilet. Yeah. Why do you want to go to the toilet? I know. I don't mind. I'll oh, let you go right, first. Okay. Um, Let's here we have go. It. Second one. Santa Claus was in fact created by Coca Cola. True or false? That is false. It is false. He was actually a guy called Nicholas. Yeah. Born in Turkey in the third century. Actually used to leave uh, little gold coins and pieces of chocolate in children's shoes. Is that true? Pull the cracker. Is that true? Yeah, it's true that. I won't make this stuff up. Answers one, that I've one. won. What have I got? What have I got? I've got a mystery calculator. Well it's done, just a piece Adam. of paper. Um, and I have a pink hat. I'm going to put that on there. Put Talk that on my there. mop. Yep. Um, and I have a joke. Okay. Are we going to, for bonus, points if, bonus I can, points, if I can guess the punchline? If you can guess the punchline, you get a bonus point. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, why did the donut maker sell his shop? Uh, why did the donut I'll give maker? You a, I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Yeah? He got fed up with the... Holes. Whole business. Whole business. You're fed up with the whole business. Fed up with the whole business. Not with the whole business. With the whole business. Oh, without the W. That's two points to me. Then. That's two points to you. Well so done. I'm in the lead with three. You're yes. Your... Very good. Brilliant. Very good. So um... who am I? It says here. All right. I don't know. <laughs> There's no clues. You just have to guess. Who am I? <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts. James Bond. Unlucky. I think you're supposed to do an impression of, with that. As, oh, right. Okay. I don't think you're supposed to... I was going to say, it's a bit... Sh- it's not like a sugary. <laughs> Nearly. Get in the hang Nearly. of it. <laughs> <laughs> sugary Christmas confectionery. Sugary James <laughs> Bonds. <laughs> right, I'm going to go to the toilet. Okay, great. Just... Um, uh, if this bit takes too long for me to get out, we'll just edit it. Down. Yeah, sure. So um, great. I'll um, I'll hold the fort then, shall I? Yeah, hold yeah. the fort. Okay, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. Sorry it's, for the uh, pops. That's okay. Don't worry. It's um, it's tricky on Christmas, isn't it? You drink too much mulled wine. You've had too many mince pies, and you think, God, I have to go. To- oh, we've got a call. We have a call, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ads. Oh, it's all right. I'll just take it. Um, hello, you're through to the Davis and Jowett podcast. Who's speaking, please? I'm me. You all right? Um, yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right, mate. Is this the, is this the Christmas podcast hotline? Is this Santa? Uh, n- no, it's not. It's not Santa. Kids, it's... kids, come here, Santa. No, it's not. Come over here. <laughs> Um, Daniel, get off of that! I said, get off of that, mate. Come over here. Santa's up phone to you. <laughs> um, oh, just, uh, hold on a second, Santa. All right. It's not so. Yeah, just come. No, put it down. Oh, honestly, mate, Santa's so spoiled. <laughs> um, well, have you got have you got children there? What's your name? What's your name? My name's Gaz, mate. Gaz. Uh, lovely to speak to you, Gaz. So, um, Gaz from Bradford. G- oh, lovely to speak to you. So, yeah. Bradford, mate. Bradford. You come by, don't you? I've seen you. I'm not. Um, I hate to break it to you, Gaz. I, I'm. You come by, don't you? I've seen you in the sky. I saw you, right, Santa, when I was 15. I'm right, coming back from. Uh, I'm coming back from my auntie Julie's, and uh, and I saw it sky. And my brother, right, my brother Dave, he's not winners anymore. But he said to us, uh, he said, uh, he said that you weren't really, so they were just shooting star. Um, well, no, that that was, um, yeah, that was that was me. That that was. Was that you and you and Scab? I knew it, mate. I knew it. I'm gonna call Gaz in Barbados, mate, because that's where he works. And I say to him, and I say that it's bloody real. I told it was. Yeah, kids, come here, Santa's here. I told you. Um, I hope you're having a. Get off the quick dog, mate. All right. Is everything all right there, guys? Right. No, no, it's all right, Santa. It's all right. You know, the little nippers out there, you know, it's just uh, setting fire to things and stuff. Yeah, you, uh, you keep them in check, Gaz, and, um, you know, wish them all a very Merry Christmas from uh, me, Santa Claus, and uh, Davison Jowett at the Davison Jowett podcast. 
Oh, chin. Oh, what's that? It's um. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Just have a, have a lovely Christmas, yeah? All right, mate. I tell you what, I stay up on Christmas Eve, yeah? And I'll wait for you. We'll have a good chat and I'll see you then, yeah? All right, we'll have a chat then. All right, bye, Santa. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that was, um... Well, what what a, what a treat. Sorry to... about that, mate. Ads, yeah. mate, you missed, you missed uh, Gaz phoning in from... Who's Gaz? Gaz phoned in. Uh, I don't know. I, he, he got the number and he wanted his kids to speak to. Uh, he phoned the phone. The yeah, phone yeah. Line. He, it wanted, worked. he wanted to speak to Father Christmas, and he was he was adamant that he was he just kept saying, "Oh, we'll speak to Father. Oh, you Father Christmas, Father Christmas." And I couldn't. I couldn't break it to him. I wasn't. Of course. Uh, so in the end, I just said, "Yeah, I'm Father Christmas, mate. <laughs> You're welcome." He was lovely. Wow. Yeah, he was lovely. Gaz. Well, thanks, Gaz. Yeah. Cheers for that. Um, lovely to speak to you, mate. Cheers, put that over there. Yeah. That um that Christmas cracker. That rubbish. <laughs> yeah. There you go, there you go. There we go. Get too much rubbish. Amazing. Christmas. Amazing. Yeah. Should we have another question? Sure. Have you got anything what have you written down this week? Well, um It's all kicking off, isn't it? It is kicking off. <clears throat> what else got have I got some... here? Have you got anything? I've got another I've got another one. True <coughs> true or false. All right, Are you yeah. ready? We'll yeah, break yeah. it up just because I went to the toilet. Okay. Frosty the snowman was the victim of bullying and will never show his face again. True or false? Frosty the snowman. Um was a face was a face there's a bullying theme coming through here, isn't there? Christmas. Rudolph's had it in the neck, and now yes. apparently yes. Uh, Frosty the Snowman. Frosty what was the, the, snowman. What was the question? He he was a victim, he was of, a victim bullying. of bullying, and will never show his face again. Um, I don't think that's true. I think that's false. It's actually true. Oh, uh, it's true. And I'm going to read you a slight story. Many years ago, uh, Queen Elizabeth the First and some young children were playing in the woods. What's this stuff falling from the sky? Said one of them. It's snow, said the boy. Many years ago, a girl uh, called my wish for snow and it came true, he said. Soon after, the story of a little girl aged four and a boy aged six decided to make a huge small snowball and started to roll it. Then they made another one and shoved it on top of the bottom one, an even smaller one for the head. Mm. They picked up some stones, used them for eyes, and then they drew on a smile and a carrot for a nose. One of the older children said, it looks just like a snowman. Let's call him Frosty the Snowman. Everyone agreed. He was born. The next day, yeah, Adam, I'm listening. this is when it turned sour. Oh, okay. He came back. Frosty was walking and singing. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul. The children laughed and sung and called, Look at him go! That's what they said. Yeah, Unaware yeah. that they were being watched by town bullies, a gang of boys jumped out from behind oh. the trees and tried to knock Frosty down. Run, Frosty, they said. Run away! He ran off. He said, I'll be back! And so to his memory, when it snows, children make snowmen. And maybe someday, Frosty... Well, mine return. <sighs> you don't get a cracker. You got it wrong. Oh, frosty. Frosty. Victim of bullying. And he said he might he come different. back. He might Maybe. come back. Well, that's why we make snowmen. Yeah. To get him to come back. Come back, Frosty. Come back. <sighs> we had the abomination that was the snowman this year. The film, The Snowman, which you liked. Oh, actually, I quite like you? The Snowman with Michael Fassbender oh, and yeah. Toby Jones. And, uh, and what was the girl called? Chloe Sav- Sevigny. Yes, Rubbish. and the other, the, the other main girl. Oh, I can't remember. We never remember the girls' names, do we? Some of them we do, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just not her. <laughs> um, she was very good. I thought it was very well done. Rebecca. Chloe Seven Year wasn't very good. She's in my called opinion. Rebecca. Is she? Adam. <laughs> I don't know her second name. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, sure you that lost that one. I'm. Um, what's what? I lost that one. Yeah. You lost that one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Those. Um, that mulled wine's gone straight through. Has it gone right? Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, are you going to go to the toilet? Uh, nip to the toilet. This is a bit. Mind. Oh no! So it's a, a bit, bit unprofessional. I know it is unprofessional, isn't it? Um, yeah. So you can hold court there, can't you? It's just what, do some improv? It's just all those mince pies I've had. Okay. Oh. And what's this? Ads, we've got a phone call. 
Hello. Hello. Hello, who's this? Hello, it's guys. It's Robbo. It's who, Robbo? Hey, Robbo. You've, you're yeah. through to the Davis and Jarrett podcast. How are you doing? Yeah, calling for Santa. Santa, um, oh, he's... Um... Can you put us in touch with him? Because I've got my list and I want, I want to ask for a few things for Christmas. Because I've been, I've been really good. Um... If you could call back in about five minutes. No, so I'll just tell you what I want and then you can pass it on to him. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, I can do that, I can do that, all Rob, right. yeah, so yeah, yeah. First of all, I've got uh, the, the uh, remote control garden goats. The garden goats, yeah? The remote control garden goats. Um, okay. It's made by Patel, if you want the name of the, the company that make it. All right, okay, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. And uh, it's like a, it's it's like a rock it's it's uh, a fast fast garden goat, like um like a like a goat. Yeah, and you put you put a two p in its back, and it shoots. Um, if you put enough in after a while, if it cuts enough grass, it shoots a small fireball out of its backside. What? Oh wow, wow! And that is an is it? It's a mechanical goat, not a real goat. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not real. They don't do that. It's uh, it's a mechanical one because my mate, my mate Baza says he's got one and he's getting one for Christmas. And I, you know, I want one. Oh, amazing! He's, al he's always beaten me. He's always beaten me at uh, uh, Connect Four, and I want to get my own back on him and say, look, I've got the remote control garden goats. Right. Oh, well, so that sounds want, good. What's want, what else is on your list, mate? So I want that. Um, I want the uh, assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert. Board, board game. Oh, the board, <laughs> the board. I didn't know there was uh, a board game. Yeah, it's it's like mousetrap, but at the end uh, he dies. Who who dies? Uh, Jesse James. Oh, of course. Uh, right. And uh, all oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, yeah, I, th I want that. All and right. Then, okay. Uh, yeah. I won't take off too much of your time, Santa, because I know you've got other little boys that want to get the presents in. Oh, and, yeah. Tell me about and, it. And, and again, this is another one that Darren's got it out, but it's, uh, I want a chastity belt. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, any particular material you want it made out of? Just, or? just like the best the best one. Made, maybe like a silver one. Titanium? Like titanium, yeah, one that's like imperishable. Oh right, okay, good, good. Do you imagine? Yeah, and I want me dad. I want me dad to come home. Oh, that's all. That's all for me, Sam. Uh, I hope you can do all that oh. for us. And I, I, I love the work you do. Yeah. All right. All right, mate. Cheers. Um, all right. I've got to go clean the garden now. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll sort that out bye for bye. you, man. Bye. bye. Mate, Hi, what? Just had another caller. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah was it this time? It's a bit sad. Oh why? He said he wanted his dad. Oh. He came. He, he, again, like the guy from Bradford. What was his name? Uh, was it Gaza? Gaz, yeah. He, yeah. Like, he said he, he he gave me a list of stuff. Yeah. That he wanted, and uh, and he and he and he said he wanted to see his dad again. Oh, we can't give him that. He can't go. <sighs> you didn't say yes, did you? I, I said I'd try. What are you doing giving him false hope for? It's Christmas. Well, he's going to be crushed if his dad doesn't come back on Christmas Day and you he said wants, he can he have his dad. He wants a remote garden goat. What's one of them? I don't know, but you put money in it and it cleans your garden or cuts your grass. That sounds preposterous. It, it sounds quite good, actually. I would have one. <laughs> I would have one as well. Uh, what do you want for Christmas, Dad? Have you got anything on the uh, on your Christmas list? Well, do you know what? Do you know the Eminem album's just come out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I can't buy it because it's never come out this so far so close to Christmas oh, and my right, birthday yeah. yeah that I think maybe someone not you um, <laughs> <laughs> has got me it so maybe I'm not saying they have to go, I'm not saying wink wink go out now if you're listening and buy it but I have to wait until after Christmas to get it because At someone least. you think someone will probably get because if they it. haven't then I have to buy it after Christmas because if I buy it before they might have bought you know they yeah it. so I'll have two but I so would do like you have that. you still get CDs yeah do you yeah yeah well, if I really like them yeah. Mm. yeah I don't have a CD player not even in my I car I bought I bought a I've uh, got Spotify CD drive for my Mac yeah 
to put them on my computer. Why don't you just get Spotify? I got Apple Music recently. And that's they pretty much the same me thing. Three months for free. Is that not the same? Is that the same thing? It's like a tenner a month, yeah, but I get the first three months free and then I'm just going to cancel it. I quite I really like that. It. I like, I love Spotify, but I miss having. Uh, I might get ho- it. Holding an album. No, yeah. Going to the shop yeah. and going, I'm going to buy this album and I'm going to ruddy well listen to it. Well, so that's what you do on Spotify. Is you, I've got list- Isn't it a good thing, I guess? We're getting rid of materials. Do you know what I mean? Saving the world. Yeah, but. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I do miss it though, and I miss like unwrapping stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't unwrap nothing and go. It's on Spotify, <laughs> <laughs> but I would like that. Uh, yeah. And nothing else, nothing else really. I don't really want anything else. I don't. I'm having a quiet one for my birthday. Like I, said, I think I said this before. I'm off bowling with the kids. That's and all Frankie right. Frankie and Benny's mate. Yeah, and we're having Christmas Day on Christmas Eve this year. Why you for Betsy? Would- because oh. I have on Christmas Eve this year, so I'm going to tell her that Santa Claus comes one day early to Daddy's house. Nice. Because he's best mates with the old G Claus over here. Fist bump. Fist bump in Santa. Yes. That's amazing. Ace. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas, mate? I don't really want anything. Um, Nothing at all. Um, Maybe some uh, waterproof running trousers <laughs> and uh, like a running hoodie, like a cagoule type. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But do you I know what I like? <clears throat> I like when I'm running. I like those old fashioned uh, like boxer hoodies. You know when you the see big, boxers? Bag, big baggy ones. Big baggy yeah, grey hoodies. Yeah, they're good, but when it starts raining, they just get heavy and they start yeah, flapping true, around everywhere. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'd like to, because if it's raining, I don't. I'm like, oh, I'll just I uh, can't. It's I not like worth it. Rain. It's all right if you've got if, if you've got stuff on which is just going to get sodden, yeah. which is like the stuff I've got. It's no fun. I wear um, really short shorts for running. Do you? Yeah, proper running shorts. The ones that are like round your crotch, <laughs> like inappropriately short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I know what you're trying to mean. Chafing. Do you not yeah. have like leg? Like I'm thinking no, leg no, warming I run type without, gear. I run without. That. You never put anything on your legs. No, nothing. Well, maybe I'm overthinking it then. Maybe I can live without them. It's not a fashion thing, mate. You just go for a run. I know, I know, but I'm thinking practically. The the the, the, what, the top one, yeah. The, the waterproof hoodie. Yeah, and I yeah. also think... Uh, you need something to protect actually, your phone as I well went, if you're listening to music. Oh, I, I just I hold my phone. I do, but if it's raining, you can't do that. I've got a leather wallet. Well, there you um, go. And it protects it. No, but you've got bits there. But sort it's, of, it's uh, waterproof, though. Opening a little bit. It's waterproof. It's, never, it's not a waterproof. Apparently it is. Get me some water. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you another question. Sure. True or false, Jesus' first name was actually James. That's rubbish. True or false? That's false. false. Right. That is absolutely false. It is false. false. He was in, indeed called Jesus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go. I lost a gun. <laughs> Oh, another oh, hat. The, the this prize, time a red one. Let the, me prize, the prize has fallen out on my side, Ads, and I'm very uh, graciously going to give Thank it back. Thank you very much. To it's it a to spinning you. top. Very good. Good for you. Uh, um, give us one off there. Give me one of these. Okay, here we oh, go. Oh, no, I need to give you one. Oh, yes, you need to yeah. give me one, yes. Right. Of course. Um, but for an extra did. point. Why? What does Santa... Oh. What does Santa do with fat elves? Beats them. No. Fat elves. Ooh. Roasts them. What does elf sound like? Shelf. Puts them on the shelf. No. Just just go through all the consonants and just put them... No, do it in order. Don't just go elf. all over the place. Elf... Yeah, E F Elf, Gelf, Delf, Elf, Felf, Gelf, Helf. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna put some on a health plan. I give you that. An that's... elf, an elf regime. Put some an elf uh, diet. It, he sells them to an elf <laughs> farm. <laughs> farm? Why is that? Jeez Louise! Oh, that, that is, is bad, terrible. Isn't it? So we'll give you that. So that's terrible. You've got one and I got one, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. two one. Four it's 4-2. It's 4-2 to four me. Two. Okay, I'm going to give you another one here. 
True or false, <clears throat> Jingle All The Way was started as a cruel joke. What would the cruel joke be? The idea. <laughs> Just the film? Yeah. True or false? It's, it's false. It's false, of course it was. It's, it's a fantastic <laughs> idea. <laughs> yes! Oh, well done, well I did done. the old full hand grab. You did, you, did. you cheated then. I did cheat. You cheated then. Sick of losing. This is... Oh, it's the fortune-telling fish. Oh, Have you seen one yeah, of these? Yeah, and they curl up in the palm of your hand, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really you, static, isn't it? Yeah, you do it. Put it All on right. your hand. Okay, put it on my hand. So if anyone right. doesn't know, it's a, it's like a thin bit of cellophane. Who doesn't know about the fortune-telling right, If you fish? don't know, just look it up. <laughs> but you have to put it on your hand, and then depending on what it does, put it on Ads's hand. It's, um... Oh, it's, oh, it's going mental. Wow. It's got a curled tail and its head slightly twisted. It's got a moving Ooh, tail. It is moving. Curling sides. Um, is that no. fair to say? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Um, curls up entirely. No. Um, moving tail. Yeah. Moving tail means independence. It's moving, that's what do I do? Just uh, eat it. What do I do? <laughs> Mo- moving head and tail. Yes. Right, that means you're in love. Oh, well, I am. Oh, I am in love. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> True or false, Bruce Willis actually believes he is John McClane. Um, I would like to think that's true. It's not true, it's false. He in <laughs> fact believes he is a reincarnation of Buddy Holly. Oh, uh, no Christmas cracker. Bruce Willis... Amazing. Well, I never. Have you got any for me? Any questions? Um, I have not. Give me some movie questions, quickly. All right, okay. Where have they gone now? They're there. Right, right there. Right. Come on. Let's fire. Oh, let me give you some. Okay. Right, here we go. Right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Which classic Hollywood actress was born Lucille Le Sueur? How come you got... <laughs> That's a really hard one. Um, Betty Davis. Oh no, John Crawford. I, I bet I saw I that one, that's why. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still got it wrong. Stunk it wrong! Which film was Quentin Tarantino's directorial debut? Reservoir Dogs. Yes, it was. In the film <coughs> series, The Terminator, what was the name of the boy who became leader of the humans? John Connor. He did. In which film does Audrey Hepburn sing Moon River out on a balcony? Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's the only yes. film I know. In what year did Leonardo DiCaprio win his first Academy Award? 1994. These are very, very present, these, aren't they? It's very good. I like it. 90, 90, what make of the car was, was used it in... Ba- no. What, what did you say? I said Man, I just totally... Re- what his first Academy Award? I don't know. 2016. Revenant. And that was his first award. Yeah, it was. I get confused. What I was academy. looking at the next question while you were <coughs> answering. You weren't I even listening. Make up the quiz show, would I? I'm no Bradley <laughs> Walsh. What make of the car was used in the Back to the Future film series? DeLorean. Yes, it was. Which yeah. actress starred alongside Jim Carrey in The Mask? Cameron Diaz. Yes. Who starred alongside John Travolta in Face Off? Oh, Nicolas Cage. Yes, well done. Well done. Lovely Very good. stuff oh, indeed. We've got, we got about six points. Um, We're coming up to an hour here, mate. Right, yeah, I'm just going to. Uh, just, oh, God, I'm so sorry to do this again. You need I, to I go need to the to, toilet I, again. I need to have a poo poo. Oh, this mate. Time. You said it. Why did you say it? It's all right. You can say poo oh, poo. Right. Are you, will you hurry up, yeah. then? I've got one more question all for right, you. So, all right, yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry about the pop again. Oh, I've got another. Ads, we've got another call. Uh, hello. Hello. You through to the Davis and Jarrett podcast? Hello. Oh, wonderful. Yes, uh, my name's uh, Graham. Uh, uh, Graham Fish. Hi, Graham Fish. How are you doing? Where, where are you I'm from? Very well. I, I've had a few sherries. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, I, I heard you, you uh, strapping young gentlemen, were taking uh, Christmas Christmas requests. Um, yeah, yeah, sure, yes, of course we are. I'm, looking for, I'm looking for a mate. I'm looking for a lifelong mate. Oh, oh, no, we're um, what we were we were thinking more about oh, pops like, up. Uh, 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 strapping uh, wife. Um. Who um, I I have a, a few foibles. I I have. Nine alpacas. 
Okay, that's stre- that's uh, that's quite a lot of alpacas to have, Graham. They all sleep in my bed. Okay, um, that might be a problem. Is, it's a deal breaker. Just let her know. Um, I have a pet lion in the garage. Yep. And I let him roam around on the ground. Any uh, any more creatures uh, that might we might want to put on your no, on your. Lions of present from the presidents of China. Okay, okay. Uh, Graham um, Fish. All of thank- my legs has come off. All right, Graham. Uh, listen, mate, we're gonna have to go. Um, do, do, eaten do, by wolves. Do you have? Okay, all right, mate. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my God! What a weirdo! What an absolute. Oh, mate, you mate. What? We just you just missed another call. Why does this keep happening? Oh, I don't know. Some weird Christmas Who's voodoo. That now? Who's uh, it's this Graham now? Fish. Who's Graham Fish? I don't know, mate. Home? He's got nine alpacas. He's like the uh, he's like the English al- version of uh, Santa Claus. Who has nine alpacas? I don't know. Strange Englishman called Graham Fish. Is he all right? He was looking for a mate. Did he specify a woman? A was- strapping woman. We don't do that kind of thing here. I don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> Graham. Please. Right, we have to stop the calls. Actually, I think. From now um, on. um, I wanted to give you. Uh, wanted to give you one more uh, Christmas-related question, Adam, for your uh, final crack. Oh, great! Yeah. Of Unless course. you've got anything else you want to. No, I mean, I, I had some rubbish parlor games, uh, but I, you know what? The quiz has, quiz has been that enjoyable. It, I don't think it we has. Need them. I'm going to give you the chance to redeem yourself to earn four points. Oh my goodness! Four crackers. At the same time. A cracker time. per answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm very ready, yeah. Name me four actors with Christmas themed names. Go. Oh. I'm going to have to give you a countdown. Oh no, I'm rubbish at this. Uh, Christmas themed names. Mm-hmm. Have to Noel you. Fielding. Well done. Noel Fielding. Noel. I'm going to have to push you, mate. Holly Willoughby. Ten. Holly Willoughby. Is she an actor? No. I'm not. I'm taking that one back. No! Ten seconds left. Um. Looking for three more. Three more? There's no way. Five seconds. I'm not going to do it in five seconds. And your time is up. You could have given me any name. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Holt. Oh, come on. Or Nicholas Nolte. Hey, no crackers for you. No, you got one. You get one cracker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I won. I won. Got, well oh, done. Got Ooh, I've got again. a purple hat. Let me change. Look, look what you've got here. Oh, I've got a cracker. It's like a castanet. Castanet or castanet? Castanet. Castanet. Here we go. Let me let me uh, ask me one of those questions. Okay. I want a bonus. Just to. What did the snowman say to the aggressive carrot? <laughs> Get off my face. Yes! He smashed it! Is that what? Yeah! Seriously? Get out of my face. Oh, well. Semantics. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Get off so, my face. That is. Is that the final scores? That was the final scores. Final scores on the door. So I, I got didn't one win one. There. You won one. I won. Uh, I've still you got won. Noel Fielding. Oh, and I got Noel Fielding as well. You did. So What's that final is score? five for me and three for ads. Amazing. Well, mate, it's been a merry old Christmas podcast. I've enjoyed it immensely. I have, I to have say. enjoyed myself too much. Um, what's left to say? But season's greetings. We wish you all a merry, merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, as always, check us out online, social media at Twit Blackhand. What's the Tumblr account, mate? blackhandproductions.tumblr.com get us on there we've also got listeners all over the globe now the last podcast had listeners in uh, USA and Australia and Sweden wow if you're listening in those countries thank you very much Merry Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to Um, everyone we are now available on Spotify Please, Check us out on there. Feeling generous, leave us an iTunes review. Twitter's at Twit Black Hand. You already said that, haven't you? Yes. We're making it even more convenient for Please. everyone to listen to the Davis and Jarrett podcast. Help us share it with all your mates. 
And until next time, until crispy, crispy January, in the new year of the 2 to the O to the 1 to the 8, we'll say, see you late. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right, wasn't it? It was okay. Kick in the music there. Kick it in. Theme. Have a great Christmas, everyone. We'll Bye-bye. see you in 2018. Bye-bye. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, all right?